Hello, everyone. Happy January 2019. Happy New Year. I have so much information to share with you about this month, but I'm going to keep the video brief because you have written content to give you more detail. But what I will go into more detail about today is the energy of the moon phases of this month. So before we get into that, um, because this is the first month of the year, I just want to let you know that each month you will have a video to go along with the energy of the month. So you want to check back with Creating with the Moon and Stars each month to see what the energy of the month will be. But you can also, if you are signed up for the newsletter, just wait for the newsletter to come out because then that way you will know that a new video is available. So you may want to take some notes for yourself because there will be some dates to highlight and maybe some of these energies that come up each month will speak to you in ways and consideration of how you can utilize these energies to support you whatever you are on your path right now. So interestingly, we start off the new year in the energy of Capricorn. So each month, the zodiac sign that we speak to is based on which sign the sun is in primarily for that month. So the sun right now is in the energy of Capricorn. And Capricorn energy is all about opportunity. It really asks us, what are we doing with our lives? How are we showing up in the world? So with this, there tends to be a lot of focus on our life path or our career, which is very much in line with the new year energy anyway, because at the start of the year, there's always this consideration of what am I doing? What are my goals? What will be my focus this year? Well, I'm going to recommend that even if you have a big vision of what your focus is for this entire year, I want you to take a breath and reel back into what will be your focus for this month, just this month. And as you go throughout each day, wake up with the consideration of how will I use my life force energy today to support whatever my focus is for this month. By doing that, we make these goals or our intentions um, less, less challenging for us. They don't feel as big or impossible when we kind of look at it in these smaller, segmented, bite-sized pieces. So again, with this Capricorn focus, we are looking at and starting out this month in opportunity. Now, one of the unique things about this is a lot of times we miss out on opportunity because we're not paying attention or the opportunity doesn't look like what we thought it should look like. So this month, in this energy, I want you to give yourself permission to be aware and open to opportunity. What if an opportunity is presenting itself and although again, it may be unexpected or different than what you may have thought it should look like, it may be an opportunity nonetheless to explore something new, try something new, learn something new, even about yourself. Where does opportunity present itself for you this month? Is it an opportunity like a new window is opening, an offer is presented to you? Or on a more personal level, do you have an opportunity to look at your own self-work and how you are showing up in the world? All of these things to consider. And notice again what speaks to you most prominently. Now Capricorn is again asking us what our point of focus is and you can look at this from a year, the month, or even day to day. What is your focus but more importantly how are you directing your energy to support that focus? 
Capricorn energy is not just about being in a dreamlike state of wonderment. It really wants to know, what are you going to do about it? Now, one of the things that we can take time to really sink into this energy more deeply is during the new moon. Because as you know, during the new moon is when we set our intention. It's where we plant our seeds of intention. It's where we take time and space to be in deep consideration of what it is we want to pour our energy into, what we want to create, what we want to build. Our new moon is happening on January 5th. Now, before we go into that, I want to point out that both of our moon phases that we're talking about this month, the new moon and the full moon, are both eclipses. And eclipse energy is very important because it changes view. It changes how we see things. That's the symbolism of eclipse energy. So it could, on one hand, present a loss of clarity, or on the other hand, it can expose something. So in this month, when we have two eclipses, you also want to be mindful of what is being revealed or what is hidden. Is there something that you're not seeing? Is there something that you need clarification around? And or is there something that you want to share, that you want to reveal, that you want to clarify in your life? It could be something brought to you or it could be something that you present. So back to this new moon energy. The time where we set intentions, really sit with what am I about to pour my energy into? The new moon is on January 5th, and it is a partial solar eclipse in the sign of Capricorn. So again, because it's a new moon and we're thinking about intentions, and because it's Capricorn, you really want to have some consideration around discipline. Are you being disciplined about whatever it is that you are setting intentions or goals around? And are you really making an effort to have clear focus around these things? Again, we have this partial solar eclipse, so clarity is key. And if there's something that needs to be clarified for you, don't just brush it under the rug. Do your own due diligence of how can you inform yourself? Do you need to research? How can you best support yourself in this setting of whatever this intention may be? Now, another thing about this is um, Capricorn energy is very principled. And with that, sometimes these energies, it feels like we're um, affected by them. So something may come up for you where you feel annoyed because of the principle or some, of something, or you are fighting for something based on principle. Or look at in your own life again where perhaps you can be more principled, where you can also be more disciplined, and also stepping out of too much emotion and allowing yourself to go into the stream of logic. Because Capricorn is black and white. It doesn't have time for the fluff. It's like, what do we need to do? How do we get it done? Let's stick to this plan. Let's execute for success because we are building into our opportunity. And even if an opportunity doesn't present itself to you, remember that you can always create opportunity for yourself. So that is something to consider as well during this new moon again, taking place on January 5th, which is on Saturday. So another thing that I wanted to point out for you is that Mercury, the planet of communication and how we process thought, will move into the sign of Capricorn as well. And that happens on January 4th. So again, there's this a lot of air of Capricorn throughout this month of January. Again, where we are thinking about how we're showing up being disciplined, being regimented. And even sometimes, you know, Capricorn can get the uh, bad rap of being an opportunist, but 
you know, think of it in, a, in the light side of it. How can you be your best cheerleader? How could you be your own best supporter? And are you willing to, even if it's uncomfortable, to step up and advocate for yourself in whatever it is that you are trying to do or accomplish? This is the energy for that. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is everything isn't done and complete overnight. You are in process. So whatever you are starting this year off in with whatever intention or goal, there is a process of allowing that to um, develop and mature and grow. So it's like you're just here in the new moon in the first phase. Think of it as building the foundation of what you're going to build into, whatever those intentions may be. Now, one of the things with that, some of you are uh, very diligent about keeping track of the moon phases in your own personal process of manifesting. So if you are one of those people, you want to look at when the moon is new and full in the same sign because this new moon in Capricorn isn't going to be full in Capricorn until July 16th. So we will have the full moon in Capricorn in July 16th. So what we're looking at is when you planted this intention in the energy of Capricorn during the new moon and allowing it that time of maturation until the moon is full again in the same sign of Capricorn. So take note in your journal today that on the, or well, during the new moon, take note in your journal of what your intention is for the new moon in Capricorn and be sure to note what that process looks like or how it has developed in July during the full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to move on to the sun entering Aquarius on January 20th. Now this is significant because we're moving out of all of that structured, disciplined Capricorn sign, which can feel like some pressure sometimes. And we're moving into Aquarius. Now this, the sun is moving into Aquarius. And now what you wanna think of is this like uh, point of transition. So where Capricorn was saying, what are you focusing on? Aquarius energy is then going to be um, guiding you into the process of, well, what can I do maybe that is innovative to help support me in whatever this goal is or this point of focus is? Aquarius is the humanitarian. It's about community, friendship. So as we move into this energy, you may even start to be inspired by the idea of how can I work with other people to support this focus? Or whatever am I focusing on, how can it support and benefit the collective or other people? Another thing with the um, Aquarius energy is, again, it is very innovative and futuristic. So where Capricorn is more of a traditionalist and more structured, Aquarius is going to say, Let's play with this a little bit. Let's make some tweaks. Let's not be too rigid or think that there's only one way to get this accomplished. Let's be a little um, rebellious. Let's be a little like risky and see what we can do to help support us in a new way, maybe in a radical way. That's what this Aquarian energy will be like once we hit January 20th and move into that. So it is um, very unique energy, I'll say it that way. So after that, we have the full moon on January 21st, which is the day after the sun enters into Aquarius. And when we're in a full moon, the sun is in the opposite sign. So the opposite sign of Aquarius is Leo. So this full moon will be in Leo. And again, it's another eclipse, but this one is a total lunar eclipse. It's also going to be a super moon, which means it's going to be really big 
And it's also going to be a blood moon, which means it may have an orangish red hue to it. So this is going to be a powerful moon. And again, it's in the sign of Leo. Now, Leo energy is very focused on generosity, our creativity, um, how we may be sharing our own light, how we may be sharing our heart. But because it is a total lunar eclipse, remember, this could speak to what's being hidden or what isn't being seen clearly. So there's a few considerations around this. During the full moon, we are full of something, full of emotion, full of whatever it may be. And in this full moon in Leo, perhaps you will feel full of creativity, but feeling unsure of how to share it or direct it. You may um, be full of some type of emotion and having a hard time in expressing the truth of your heart. There may be some confusion around these areas during this time. But the full moon is also symbolic of something coming to an end or, or completion. So again, for those of you who are very diligent about taking note of your moon intentions, this moon is the full moon that um, is symbolic of the completion of whatever intention you set back in August of 2018. So if you look at the calendar, your planner, whatever, at August 11th, 2018, the new moon was in Leo. And whatever intention you set back then, now look ahead on this full moon and see how that intention has played out, how it has developed. Now, for so many of us, um, when we feel an emotional pull or feel that lunacy of the moon um, we can you know be reactive or we can just shut down I remember Leo is a fire sign although it is controlled it's fixed you want to be really mindful of what you are feeling and at least having that honesty and vulnerability with yourself to acknowledge whatever may be coming up for you at this time and what's coming to mind right now is the strength card in tarot, which has a picture of a lion on it. And that energy is really about making sure that we are mindful about how we manage our own egos, how we manage our own inner beast, our own inner lion. And also having this acknowledgement that strength, our strength, our power doesn't have to be forceful or rough or overpowering there is a gentleness and humility in strength as well so keep these things in mind around this full moon total lunar eclipse on january 21st and allow yourself to deep dive into your own generosity of heart your own creative nature and pay attention to what may be revealed to you in this energy so that is all for January 2019. Um, one of the things I wanted to let you know is if you do want some more clarity around eclipse energy and what that means, that information is available for you here in Creating with the Moon and Stars. Just scroll up above the months and you will see um, that information available to you. And if you would like to share anything that is coming up for you in this energy of January, what your personal point of focus may be, if you have any um, suggestions or recommendations for how to navigate these energies, or any ideas that sparked for you during this conversation, feel free to post it in the comments below. And that is it for now. I hope you have a beautiful January. Take note of you how you feel. And I will see you all next month.